the whole essence of a home has changed over the last 20 years. So the living room is sometimes part of the kitchen and the dining room. You know, for me, that is the ideal space in the world, just one massive room that's just got everything in it, because people tend not to go upstairs or downstairs. It's deciding what the feel is that you want in your living room. If you want to design a living room that's very grand, that's going to be a very, very different look and the textures that you might use might be more for nighttime. If you're doing a living room, which is what I call a family room, which is what most people do, it's really about using neutrals and then adding you know, spurts of colour in, say, glass or ceramics or certain cushions. So if you've got a sofa, what do you want on that sofa? A couple of cushions. Behind the sofa, what would you have? Say, a wonderful console table. On that console table, what would you have? A few pieces of ceramics, a flower. So you're creating these different, sort of almost like walls, which are inviting you into the room. And that's what design is all about. What happens is people just put too much in a room, and they panic, and they buy, and they put in, and put in. But actually, you need the space around it for the piece in itself to come alive. So. You know, if you're getting one or two or three pieces, it's all about layering it in the same way as you do texture. Um, and it's all trial and error. All I am here to do is say, here are some tools. These are my cushions. These are all the things that I love, that I know will go with anything that you put in your home. And the rest is for you to create the perfect home.